In this lecture, we're going to learn how to draw a repeat unit for a polyester. Now, I've uh, drawn an, uh, one of the poly polyesters that we drew earlier. We did an example. So, this is a polyester. And in black, there are ester links. So, you have these ester links that are joining joining the monomer units. So, the individual molecules have been joined together and they're forming a polyester. Now, what is a repeat unit? A repeat unit is, uh, is a part of the polymer chain that is constantly repeating again and again. So, if you look carefully, starting with, uh, let's start from this end. You have, you have an oxygen over here and let's finish that at this particular end. If you look at, at this molecule as at this part of the chain, what you would what you would notice is that the next part is exactly the same as this particular part. So this part of the chain is again repeating exact and it's exactly the same. The same exact thing is repeating again. So this is another repeat unit and I would underline that. So this is my next repeat unit and these repeat units are exactly the same. So if you have a polyester chain, there would be parts of the chain that would be constantly repeated again and again. So those are your repeat units. So another way to represent this polymer, polymer polyester chain is that you only write this part. So starting from this side, you have oxygen, you have uh, carbon, which is bonded to two hydrogen atoms. After that, you have another oxygen, which is part of the ester link. And after the ester link, you have two methyl groups attached to a carbon in the center, in the middle. And after that, you again have C double bond O. And the bonds continue. So let's draw, right? It's very important to draw these continuation bonds. And uh, another way to represent this polymer in the repeat unit form is that I'm going to put, I can put square or curly brackets over here on both sides. This would show that this, this particular part of the poly polyester chain is continuing repeat uh, again and again. So you need to uh, draw another repeat unit over here then another repeat unit and that's how uh, that's what your polyester is going to look like and I'm going to write a small n where n is the number of times so it's the number of times this particular repeat unit repeats or repeat unit appears in the chain So that's uh, what your repeat unit in this particular polyester chain uh, looks like. So this is your entire polyester chain and this is your repeat unit which is constantly repeating again and again. And this end represents the number of times this repeat unit is going to appear in the polyester chain. Now there could be many different repeat units for the same polyester chain. So I can pick another repeat unit. My starting point could be something uh, else. So uh, let's say I mark my starting point over here and I'm going to look for the part of the chain that is going to repeat again and again so this entire part is different but as I reach this part the, this CH3 and the chain starts repeating again so so this is the point where my repeat unit ends because the same thing is going to repeat again after this part so I can pick this repeat unit and if I th pick this repeat unit, this repeat unit would be slightly different compared to the one that I previously picked. So let's pick this repeat unit. So it's starting with CH3. Two methyl groups attached to CH3. And that CH3 is bonded to an ester link, which is C double bond O and uh, O. And after that ester link, you have carbon, which is bonded to two hydrogen atoms. And then I have another oxygen that is then bonded to acetyl bond O, so it's part of the ester link. And then they are continuation bonds. So uh, this could be my other repeat unit. It's, uh, and I'm going to put brackets around it and write N where N is the number of times this repeat unit is going to repeat. 
over and over again now these two repeat units are are identical they are exactly the same there's no difference between the repeat units it's only the starting point in in the first repeat unit was when i started at this point if i start at this point i need to end at this particular point because this is the part that is going to repeat again after that if i start from this point then i would have to end my repeat unit over here now the repeat unit is exactly the same the only thing is that i am starting at different points so both of these repeat units this one over here and this one over here they're both correct and they both represent the same exact poly polyester now here is another polyester chain and you can see that there are ester links uh, which are linking the polyester, the monomers uh, together. So th these are all ester links that are joining them together. Now I, I want to figure out what the repeat unit of this is. So I can start at any point. Let's pick this point over here. Let's uh, start and draw a line over here. So I'm going to figure out where this chain is going to start repeating again. So if you look carefully, this C double bond O benzene starts and reappears back again at this point. So I need to end this repeat unit over here before C double bond O. So this would be my repeat unit because if you look carefully, this repeat unit is going to be repeated again and again in this particular chain. So starting from this point over here, uh, this repeat unit again repeats uh, repeats itself again. So you you can clearly see that this is your repeat unit it's repeating over and over again so uh, if you are asked to draw or represent this polymer what you can do is you can also use the repeat unit uh, take this repeat unit which is C double bond O followed by a benzene ring remember benzene is just a simple structure an organic structure that you're going to study very later on in the advanced level classes so you have cedal bond o then there's another o then you have c then you have hydrogen a methyl attached to the c and then you have another o and then you're going to draw these continuation bonds which means that this repeat unit is still continuing on both sides and you're going to put square or curly brackets and put an N over there where N is the number of times this repeat unit is going to repeat itself.